So we are sitting right now in a colony of Diphasiastrum digitatum. Diphasiastrum digitatum, that's a mouthful. You memorize that and your mother would be proud of you. Um, so this is ground cedar. Ground cedar or also called fan club moss and you'll see why it's called fan club moss here in a second. So Diphasiastrum, the name Diphasiastrum, this is a fern by the way, this is a fern. The name Diphasiastrum uh, literally means um, a really incomplete or crappy uh, version of a diphasi, uh, Diphasiastrum, not a Diphasiastrum, it would be a Diphasium. Diphasium? Diphasium? Which is a club moss too, it's another genus. Um, and digitatum just means finger-like, so it looks like a bunch of fingers coming off. That's where the name Diphasiastrum. Astrum means kind of looks like, but not really, an incomplete version. And, um, and digitatum is finger-like, digit, digits, right? So Diphasiastrum digitatum, let's pick one of these. It's got this cool fan-shaped, these branches, and these branches have these, these leaves, these scale-like leaves that are in a whirl. They're in a whirl along these branches, and these branches are flat. These branches are flat in cross sections, so they're in a whirl on these flat um, branches. And you can see it's kind of fan shaped. That's where the fan club moss comes from. You know, you could also make up cool names like, like the, the bird's foot club moss. I don't know, something stupid like that. Common names are dumb, I think. Anyway, so what we have here is, is this colony, and this could be like only a couple individuals. So they grow in these colonies by these, um, these stolons or these stems that are just above the ground or right below the ground, and then new ones pop up. So it's hard to tell which ones are these, if these are all ramets, which are genetically the same uh, individuals coming up, or if they're um, genets, genets, uh, which are genetically different individuals coming up. Um, but they do here, they produce asexually like that. And we have a, look at this. We have a Canophilus, the parasitic bear corn. That's cute. Cute, we'll talk about that maybe in another video. Um, but let's talk about the reproductive uh, structure here. So it's a fern, so it produces spores. So it has this stroboli, these stroboli, which are usually um, about in, uh, a little under an inch to an inch and a half long. In Italian, we like to call it stromboles. Ah, uh, not really, but I like it. So now you're gonna start calling these stromboles. You better watch it. So uh, they they have these these um, finger like these finger like stromboles, stromboles, and there's usually two to four of them, not more. But you always have this like this one's got five. This little dinky one here, uh, and then the other normal ones. These ones are a little long. You always have that kind of freaky one, right? Uh, but then it often has, I mean, we're obviously in the winter, so a lot of these have fallen off, but it has these sterile, uh, may have some sterile scales at the tip as well. S sterile scales at the tip as well. So, uh, yeah, this is a very, this is probably our most common club moss, uh, Diphasiastrum digitatum. Diphasiastrum digitatum. Really cool plant. So, right now, we are in, in um, Diphasiastrum's uh, is that British accent working at all? Is that, we're in the habitat of, of I'll keep the British accent going because it's fun. So we are, <laughs> all the British people are going to unsubscribe <laughs> to this network now. Um, so I should stop so I don't offend anybody with my beautiful accents. Uh, but we're in the habitat of a Diphasiastrum, which, which is, uh, we're in kind of this more disturbed area of the flatwoods. Even though we have paper birch, we have, uh, we, it's a little moist here, so we have, uh, we have pin oaks and so forth, but um, you, you can find it in anthropogenically disturbed areas as well as some nicer high quality areas, usually a little more shaded, uh, wet, um, sandy soils. But uh, Diphasiastrum, this is it's kind of the, the common habitats that, that it grows in uh, here around the Great Lakes at least. Did you run away? 